My daddy is gone, daddy mama don't speak. No Brothers ain't close. close. Crack in my pocket, pocket, I stood in the ring. Chasing the pivot, can't, 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 can't fuck with the fame. fame. L is a lesson, never a loss. No black in my blessing, I bet you I'm cold. Black in my pocket, crack in my jeans. Driving a real new I got from a fiend. Ran more for hours, I got up with cheap. Yeah, I get, I get, I get. You mentioned, you know, in the music industry, right? People sell their souls. Absolutely. Now, do you believe people sell their souls on the street? Dudes will join the gang and rat on their whole gang. <laughs> right, right. So you know, the sellout don't start in the music industry; it starts in the spirit. So right. let's talk about the, the the human spirit and how corrupt it is, and how something that's supposed to free you can ins easily enslave you. But, but so you got to remember. A lot of this shit is escapism, right? So you try to say ignorance is bliss? It's easier to sit on the corner all day and smoke a blunt than say, you know what? I'm gonna fix my credit. My cre I ain't got no credit score. I live with my girl. I sleep on a fucking couch. I don't got no consistent money coming in. My health is bad. I got diabetes. I'm cancer prone. Ignorance is bliss. So the, when you see brothers do that, I learned that from being in the jail. I used to smoke, I used to drink, I used to rob. I was a demon, boy. Like, I put pain in, bro. But when I got to prison and I couldn't run from myself no more, I started to realize that I was hiding in the blunt. I was hiding in the bottle. I was hiding in the pussy. I was hiding in the random acts of violence and aggression. That was a form of escapism for me. So brothers out now, they, they really running from reality. They using that shit. So it, it, it's like selling your soul or doing ignorant shit by default because you don't want to deal with reality. Like right now should be go time. We should be building our wealth, building our families, getting more close knit. You feel me? Having dual citizenship. Niggas ain't been thinking about, oh, where can I go besides America? It's ignorance is bliss. So for me, what I look at it is, niggas don't want to look at reality because that shit is scary. Niggas would rather play video games all day, smoke weed and do nothing because it's easy. It's hard to it's hard to be a man. What's a man? Protector, provider, maintainer. How many niggas you know is the head of their household, bro? Huh? It's quiet. All of Feel me? It's not too many, bro. So 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 at the end of the day, that's what that is. So I try my best to tell brothers like you gotta how a man provides is through provisions. God provides provisions. But if you depending on a woman, what you should depend on God for, if you depending on man. What you depending on, what you should depend on God for, then you're gonna be limited. Don't no man gotta sell drugs. Don't no man gotta do nothing illegal. If you got a, a, a tight relationship with God, because God gonna be a provider for you. So if you don't believe that, then you don't have a strong faith in God. And that's the message that we gotta start pushing because after 400 years, we can't progress. That sanitation truck, they gotta count. Them, yo, the, the person that owns that truck, making more money than dude on the corner. You understand? We don't own no property. We don't own no real estate. It's hard, bro. You feel me? It's hard. It's hard. Because you're dealing with, you know, you're dealing with self-destructive mentalities that's being conditioned every day, bro. You feel me? So, that's my take on that. Sound like now, now, how would you categorize your music? My music is just... Is it gangster? Is it nah, nah, it's inspirational? More, it's inspirational. It's reflective. It's autobiographical. It's auto, how you say? Autobiographical. Yes. That's my music. You know what I'm saying? My life experiences, what I learned from it, and how I applied those life experiences to myself to become better. Yes. Now, um, you know what I mean? for the people who are unfamiliar with you, I mean, do you have any mixtapes out? Any music videos? What content do you have that's relative? Oh, to your, your your musical product. I got a song called God is Great. It's on YouTube right now. So you type in smart, God is great. It's a, it's, a, it's a picture of me. I got that joint, that's that's out. I got a joint called Angels in the Sky. My YouTube channel is American Fortune, so all my music is on there. You know what I mean? All right. And my and my number is 917-385-3013. So you know what I mean? Mm. I'm always open the building, sharing information. And and, and and that's how we get down. That's the type of time we on right now. Okay, now is your music partner with any record labels or are you an independent yeah, yeah. artist? I got my own record label. It's called American Fortune. American Fortune. Yeah. All right, so we talk about American Fortune. You know, 
What do you see yourself doing in the next five years to get that American fortune? Well, I already got the American fortune. I'm already rich. But in the next five years, I'll probably be the youngest self-made black billionaire living in Africa. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. You know what I mean? It's time for me to get into international business. Import. I want to get into import-export. That's my, you know, that's my goal. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm, that's what I'm manifesting. And that's what I'm protecting. And another thing, too, anybody watching this, I'm not dying. I'm not going nowhere, bro. It's not going to be no video where I say, when I say I'm on point, trust, I'm on point. Because I'm living right. I'm not creating bad karma. So I see video, and I want to touch on something, right? I, I seen a video with Pop Smoke, and Pop Smoke, rest in peace, right? He was talking about being on point and all that. Yo, bro, the best way to be on point is to live right. The best way to be on point, to live and to be here on earth, to make sure all your dreams manifest, is to live right. You do dirt, you get dirt. You hang around people that don't give a fuck about you, then you, at, then, then you in danger. Y'all motherfuckers need to learn how to peek and, and read niggas' energy and niggas' vibes, bro. And when you high and you doing drugs and you smoking and you drinking, you can't read niggas' frequencies. And when you a good nigga, you a good dude, you better be a hit to niggas' vibes. You better be, because niggas out here be jealous, bro. And when you high, that shit block your intuition. You drunk, that shit block your intuition. I'm saying you popping pills, all this shit you twist is, that shit block your intuition. So when you out here moving and you got a Judas in your circle, you can't even see that nigga till it's too late. And you got the shock face like, 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 like Makai Fife and Peyton Full, like, yo! No, nigga. So I'm gonna be here. So I put God first, and I only got people in my life that got love for me, and I got love for them. And remember, never get money with never get money with niggas that want to make money. Get money with niggas that want to make money with you. Mm. Her. Never mm. shine with motherfuckers that want to shine. Shine with motherfuckers that want to shine with you, cause mm. they want to. They want for you what they want for themselves. Mm. Don't no man want death for himself. Mm. You heard? So I, this is shit I learned. Mm. You know what I mean? So you know. Um, so five years from now, you know, we're going to have multiple businesses, multiple streams of income. I'm going to be into fucking apps, software development, products, all that. Like, we, 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 we getting different kind of money. You know what what? I mean? So, what? Uh, well, that's what's up, man. Um, oh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to wrap this interview up, but... Legendary shit. Closing statements. What do you want to leave with the people... Who have now been introduced to you? Yo, this shit is about skill acquisition. We gotta stop. We gotta stop investing time and shit that don't mean nothing. Instead of niggas trying to figure out how to get a pack, you better try to figure out how to build an app. You know what I'm saying? Niggas need to learn computer science, political science, economics, trading. Like not no fuck Bitcoin. I'm talking about CFA, Certified Financial Al uh, Certified uh, Financial Analyst, Series Seven. What is a hedge fund? Who's Warren Buffett? Who's Charlie Munger? What's Berkshire Hathaway? Niggas gotta get into such. We, black motherfuckers, we gotta get into a whole different kind of vibe, bro. And stop wasting your best years, bro. Mm. Feel me? Mm. Like, niggas like only niggas young, only young, young once. Like, once. Like, once.